Like I was saying guys, uh, make sure you clean your spray boot real good. Do shit out real good. Take your time. Um, get the room cleaned up. Get all the spider webs off. Everything that you see. Even if you take the whole day cleaning this room. That's what you need to do. Because uh, if you want a badass ninja, you want to be really careful. And, uh, you want to get the spray boot cleaned up and everything. So we're getting the uh, spray boot ready. As you can see, I went to Home Depot to get this uh, plastic sheeting. It was probably like 20 bucks. And I got some uh, safety stuff. A heavy duty coverall. And uh, what I'm doing up here is uh, putting it up in the roof. So I won't get any, uh, any dust or any particles down on my paint. I told you earlier, make sure you get rid of all the spider webs. So, I didn't use this spray boot in a while, so um, not for a big job like this. So, uh, I'm already in my second beer and uh, we're, still, we're still doing progress. So, uh, let's see what happens right now. I'm gonna get it all done tonight. to each other so you can get the edges real nice in there. Now 
out of this corner and I'm just uh, getting out of fire ready and uh, getting it ready to paint. I'm just cleaning them out real good. Uh, what I did over here, I just grabbed the pallet, drilled some holes on the pallet, and uh, I just hang my, my lights. Right now we're just cleaning it up real good. Getting out of the door jam. Alright guys, every time you uh, put a grease remover on the part, what you want to do is uh, you want to go over it and then with another little rag, just wipe it off. Go over it and just wipe it off. And try to use rag that doesn't leave a lot of uh, a bunch of little uh, fibers. So as you can see right here, we're just getting it ready for, uh, we're just cleaning it up real good, getting it ready for the paint. We're gonna let this uh, wax remover flash about 10 minutes. And uh, meanwhile, we're gonna go mix the uh, paint. So as you can see, um, I try to put some uh, clear, clear tape on my uh, camera so it won't get all the overspray on there. So right now at this point, um, I'm getting ready to mix all the paint. So on this kind of paint, it says uh, two to one. So what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna go up to 15. I mean to. Let me show you guys. If it says two to one, we're gonna do uh, ten of paint and five of reducer, and that's how we're gonna mix it. So at this point, I'm gonna mix the paint. At this point, uh, we're just gonna mix it real good.
just put the first coat of paint on there. At this point, this uh, paint is covering up real quick, and uh, I like the way it's laying down. And um, this is a the uh, the first one was a tech coat, and this one is like the first coat. So uh, at this point, I just put a first coat under. Pretty much, this is like the uh, first good uh, wet coat. Uh, I really like how the paint covers up real quick. So far I like the paint a lot and uh, I never had a paint that covers up so quick and also what I noticed about the paint that it gives me enough shine for I to know what I'm doing because on some other paint it dries out so quick or it just becomes too dull that sometimes you can't even tell where you're shooting. So, so far the wet wet's uh, number one for me right now. <laughs> 